I am directing a comprehensive and intensive effort to define a long-term research and development program to begin to achieve our ultimate goal of eliminating the threat posed by strategic nuclear missiles. Ronald Reagan was totally right when he said he wanted a ballistic missile defense system comprehensive enough to protect the U.S. from ICBM attacks. His liberal opponents scoffed, called it Star Wars, said it couldn't possibly work. They blocked money for its deployment on any scale. Nevertheless, in tests, it worked fairly well. And he might well have been right. There may well be countries suicidal enough to attack the U.S. Just recently, Israel and the U.S. working together created and deployed the Iron Dome defense system for defending Israel from short-range rockets from the terrorist Hamas group. Facing a far more technologically difficult challenge, shooting down a short-range rocket within seconds, not minutes as would be true with an ICBM, Iron Dome works well. So very possibly Star Wars would work too. Now here's the question. North Korea, a state run by a mentally ill person, will soon be able to hit the U.S. with nuclear bombs. Iran, a nation run by a group of insanely angry persons, will soon have that nuclear attack ability in terms of Europe, Israel, and eventually against America. Why are we not working hell for leather to create an iron dome system for the USA? Why, if the challenge is real enough for Mr. Obama to beef up the limited defense systems we have, don't we spend every dime we can find to defend ourselves against nuclear attacks? What more urgent priority do we have? And yet we're not doing it. Why? So what if it's expensive? What's Portland worth? What's LA worth? What's Seattle worth? Let's get real here, people. We can defend ourselves, and we're the crazy ones if we don't.